Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Carrolls. I'm an instructor in the Department of Biology at California State University, Northridge. I'm here to talk about a very unique program that we offer to undergraduate and graduate students, and that is the Tropical Biology Semester. We offer this program every two years. Last time we went to Ecuador. It's a tiny little country on the west side of South America. It straddles the equator and it straddles the Andes Mountains. And this gives a great opportunity to explore a huge range of ecosystems. First one we went to was a small village at the top of a mountain called Santa Lucia, where great opportunity to explore hummingbirds and reptiles and amphibians and lots of insects, of course. We spend approximately a week there and then we move down the mountain to another place called Mackie Pacuna, which is a, an ecotourism lodge but offers great research facilities for our program. And we spend approximately seven to ten days there before moving on to another, another location called Mindo. And there students actually get a great opportunity for doing research on a wide diversity of frogs. So the last place that we visit in Ecuador mainland is a place called Tipitini. It's a fantastic place, which is why we spend three weeks there. This is a region that has the greatest diversity of wildlife in the world. Ten different species of primates coexisting. Many of our students have done research in the behavior of these primates. There's a wide diversity of frogs. Many of our students have done projects on bats. Last time we went to Ecuador, we captured a, a bat, which was the second time only captured in Ecuador, first time in Tipitini. So a unique opportunity for our students in this program. So at Tipitini, they also have two 100-foot towers, which students can climb up and see what it's like at the top of the, the, the rainforest canopy. You get lots of insects and lots of types of birds, and also some of the primates, which you may not see down in the, in the understory. So on the last week of the trip, we visit the Galapagos Islands. We live on a small yacht, and we spend seven nights traveling around different islands. And each day, the, the a zodiac takes us to the islands where you get to walk around with the marine iguanas, the land iguanas, the blue-footed boobies. And then usually in the day, there are activities involving snorkeling, and you'll get close-up encounters with sea lions, sea turtles, and a huge diversity of marine fishes. Following that trip, we would then return back to campus for four weeks in which you write up your papers and then analyze your data and then present the results to the university in a mini symposium. Students will work on two projects. These are independent projects that the students design themselves and they work on a wide diversity of organisms including primates, primate behavior, frog behavior and morphology. Uh, some students have worked on ant behavior and ant morphology. Some students have worked on the uh, diversity of insects or other organisms along elevational gradients. And this is just an example of just few. The, the opportunities are endless because of the huge diversity in the tropics. So at California State University Northridge, we offer a great selection of field courses in ecology and, and in biology. And one of the programs that we have special pride in is our Tropical Biology Semester, which allows graduate and undergraduate students to take advantage and acquire 16 units of courses that they can put towards their degrees and spend seven to eight weeks living in the tropics, getting hands-on research on the ecology and diversity of wildlife in the tropical ecosystems. Mm -hmm.